in analysing the problem we had with filters on conventional pumps, I was able to see that the, the main issue was there just wasn't enough cross-sectional area. So, for instance, if you look at this, which is the conventional um, can filter, which is what's primarily used in most um, screen filter situations, um, you've got a series of holes, um, but doesn't really represent a, a, a big cross-sectional area. So the problem with a, a, sh a small cross-sectional area is that a, it clogs up quite quickly um, because what happens is it draws water in at a very high velocity, which obviously entrains all the debris at the same time. Um, so by taking that concept and saying, well, how would I enlarge that cross-sectional area? You know, you come up with, and again, it, essentially it's a, it's a very thin disc, um, but by these serrations, we managed to increase that area again. So as you can see, once you start loading them together in that sort of form, you can all of a sudden see how, how the area increases. Now, one of the issues with that is, you think, well, how, in that case, you know, how do you separate them? Because there's obviously got to be a degree of separation between the discs. So then I came up with the idea of um, making an integral spring, which you can see there, so that when they're positioned together, they actually operate as a spring. So by putting a, a, a series of them together, you can actually increase that distance between the disc just by simply putting more pressure between the, the, the plates. So um, as you see on a, on a filter here, this has got 16 discs on, but you can actually go up to as many as 40. And obviously the more discs you put on, the finer the, um, the, finer the, the grade of filtration. So that, that represents about 200 times more cross-sectional area from, uh, from that. Um, and again, going back to the, the whole principle of, of, of screen filtration, um, because the draw is much less, the initial debris doesn't want to be attracted to it in the first place, and that therefore means that um, it lasts a lot longer before it does start blocking. Um, but the other interesting thing about um, screen filters as well is what happens when you, when you get that fast draw, um, as everyone will know when they take the plug out of their hand basin, you'll get a vortex created. And what that does, that entrains air into the inlet pipe. And for a pump, the last thing you want is, is air entrained in a pump because that creates all cavitation, all sorts of issues. Um, and what this does is it, this sort of basically eliminates the formation of the, of the vortex because, it, it, because of the shape of the disc together. It doesn't allow that, that um, init initial um, cusp of the core vortex to be started, which prevents that problem. So it, it, do, it does three things really, um, prevents air getting into your pump, um, reduces the initial in, 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 you know, in, instinct of, of debris to want to come to it, and thirdly, when it does uh, get drawn in, it lasts a lot longer because it's got such a huge cross-sectional area. So, um, and also, it's easy to clean because you just, by this method here, you know, all the debris will drop out just by shaking it or, you know, putting a hose pipe on it or in a bucket of water or whatever, and it's very simple to maintain. And the other thing is by um, these connections here we've got, we've got knockout inserts. So by hitting the center here with a, with a hammer, we can take the insert of that coupling away. And then by simply screwing more units on, you can increase the, the filtration. In so it's a modular system, which can be um, expanded quite easily. Wherever you're drawing, you know, big amounts of water through any conventional pumping system, you know, with this, as this inlet screen filter, it, you know, it will directly in, improve the, the, the situation. Now, from a user point of view, you know, th this will in, in undoubtedly increase the, li the life expectancy of your pump. So whether you're a, a domestic user that's got a small fish pond, or whether you're a massive um, industrial fish producer, this is a system that will work for you.